are back at Greg's table, and I am very excited, Dad. Here's why. What's up? You know, Dad. What up? There is somebody. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you got it. You got this. You are. You got this. Don't okay. Try. Thank you for giving me that motivation, Father. Okay. I I have somebody very exciting with me, um, and his name is Mr. Clay. Hello, everyone. I am very happy to have you, Mr. Clay. I have been very anticipatory for this moment. That probably wasn't the right word, wasn't it? I, honestly, AMG, I don't even know what that word means. <laughs> <laughs> but AMG, I like it because you rock with it and I appreciate being here and thank you Mr. Cobweb for having me at Chris Table. I appreciate it. This is our first, this is our, um, this is our second guest here at Chris Table? Yay. Oh, that's what's up. Oh, so we got it. That's what's up. That's what's up. Oh man. So a AMG, what's going on? How was your week this week? It was very good and exciting. I didn't get to go to school because we were in a blizzard. We got stuck multiple times in the span of 72 hours. That is true. Yeah. Kind of sucked. I think we got like stuck twice in the same night. Yeah. <laughs> I lost the car. I lost the car to the back road. So it was a bad blizzard. Oh wow. Oh, how was your How was your week, Mr. Clay? Overall, my week was great because even though it was a blizzard and I lost the car, I just been at home more and really trying to build foundation. You know, making stuff simple in everyday life. So you appreciate little things more. So with the blizzard and being stuck. We just think about what I appreciate. So it's been good. And I appreciate you too. Yeah. What about you, Cobweb? How was your week? Oh, uh, mine was pretty good. You know, I can't complain. Um, I had a snow day, so I took it as that, you know, and stayed at home and just slept all day. Um, beside that, you know, just, you know, doing our thing, you know. Erica had a birthday this week. Yes. So that was pretty cool to wipe, you know. Excited. Appreciating yeah. each other. Right, right. Did that and, um, you know, just been getting ready for uh, this big podcast here for this big episode. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. I, I'm very excited. I was literally looking out the window constantly waiting. <laughs> I pulled up with a smile. I, I was excited. I was anxious. Yeah. Right, right. You could have. You don't even do like that when I come home from work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the dad. I open the door and greet you, and yeah. ask you how work was. You know what? You're absolutely right. I can't hate on that. I can't exactly. hate on that. I can't hate on that at all. I can't hate on that. Because so, if I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have that. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. So, Mr. Clay, let me let me ask you right quick. How, how old are you? I am 19. Oh, that's what's up. We got the youth in the house, the youth of America. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel old, though. <laughs> that's that wisdom. Me too, me too. I sometimes feel old because I have bad pain. And wisdom. I like the bad pain. Wisdom. Yay. The back pains is more or less the pains that you've been giving me in my back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, man. So how long have you been um, training? Um, I've been training martial arts overall 12 years. 12 uh, years you've been doing this? Yes, yeah, sir. So I started when I was seven, and I originally got into it because I saw boxing, and I saw Muhammad Ali, and I thought it was boxing, but I just told my mom martial arts. So when I went there, I was like, it's not what I meant, but I was like, cool, I'll rock with it, I'll rock with it, and then I just stayed with it since. So it was cool, plus my grandpa, he was a uh, black belt as well, so I just wanted to be like him. So he always took me and he paid for it and everything. So I just want to make him proud. So I just went like a routine, you know. So it was like our little thing about it. I'm sure you feel the same way about AMG, you know, going with it. You just see the progression and the growth. And it's like a weird bonding because you're hitting accomplishments, but you're still doing it solo. It's not a, it's not a dependent. Bonding. It's like an independent body. You know what I mean? Yeah, I got you. I understand 100% what you're talking about right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's real. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely say that after all the times, I probably caused some pain by trying to practice martial arts, <laughs> that we have a very strong bond. Exactly. And how long have you been practicing in the overall? Um... Wait, at home or...? Just starting martial arts oh. and learning. 
I'm very confused. I am very sorry. No, that's okay. <laughs> I'm trying to think. It's okay. Been, like two months, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah. They're coming up. And overall, how much do you feel like has you improved and just bonded with dad? And how excited have you been over the last? Two I months? have been very excited. Mm -hmm. I enjoy martial arts, to be honest. I was in it for maybe a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. And then I had to quit, but for the most part, I'm happy I went, I'm going to TM. Mm -hmm. I think a big thing though is you got cobwebs. A, a cobweb, a supporting parent, someone who really wants it, it helps Bob a lot. So I think that's cool that you guys can do that. Yeah. yeah Would well. you join martial arts, Dad? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you too old? Yes. <laughs> You can't see the picture when you're in the frame. He's got to step back and tell you how to do it. It's okay, you Dad. You can, I believe you could do martial arts. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, that's where I hurt myself. Trying it's to do okay. some kick or something like that and throw out my back. You know I got a, I got a weak back. It's alright. Well, Mr. Clay can help you strengthen it. Knock off the power. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The corniness continues. Oh my god, did he just say that? How you doing? <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. AMG, so so what are we gonna do today? What's going on today? Well, who? Let's get into our first segment. What do you say? Mr. Clay, what music do you listen to and who are your favorite artists? <laughs> That's a good question. I actually like a lot of music and some of my favorite artists wide from Lil Wayne to Bruno Mars. Um, even there's a few songs. There's this one song, one of my favorite songs is actually Most Girls. And it's like, Most Girls are smart and strong and beautiful. And for some reason, it's just the energy in the song. I like um, not necessarily genres of songs or lyrics of songs, but I like the songs that like you get an emotional feeling from, you know what I mean? Well put together, well produced, um, but rap overall is my favorite genre of art or music, and I like Lil Wayne. Um, you like you like Lil Wayne, Lil Wheezy? I do. Like Lil, Lil Wheezy? Wheezy? Oh, we got a Lil Wheezy yeah. fan in here? <laughs> My stepdad used to play him a lot, and like just the tempo and overall cadence. Because um, when I listen to music, I feel like a lot of people just have it as a background thought. But especially with rap, I like to listen to the lyrics. Um, I was a, also in drumline, so I like the movements, the cadence, of how they're moving. So um, I just really in depth listen to music. It's like what I like to do. So um, with Little Weezy, I also like a few newer artists. And honestly, I don't even like artists by name or have a favorite artist. Cause just like as martial arts, there's people with degrees, there's people more accomplished, but I never put anyone on a pedestal. So like, I probably won't even know most of my favorite artists' names like that or necessarily be a fan. Because I feel like also, I don't know, maybe not as pride, but just as an artist as well, you never want to be a hardcore fan. You kind of always want to collab and I wish that fans get taken away and we were all creators because we are creators, you know what I mean? But it's hard to put a label on what I like, to be honest. <laughs> okay, okay. We, this is Team 316 now. Yeah, we're going too deep. But it's too hard to put a label, but I do like rap music and I like all types of rap music. Um, I have been on a lot more melodic lately. Um, I used to listen to a lot more, you could say drill rap, like Little Dirt, um, Little Herbo. <laughs> that drill, that drill rap, that, 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 you know, this is Drillinois. Mm -hmm. This is Drillinois, and uh, the drill out here in Chicago is real. Yeah. It is real. That's, that's, that's some hardcore stuff right there. I, drill to me is like, it's not that, it's not that positive. And that's why I'm into more melodics now that I'm getting older too. Because uh, just as you get older and see things, a lot of the music they put out, they are 70s, 
sending their message and they're sending their hurt, but I, I see a lot of people recite that hurt and start to get in their headspace when they don't have to. And I start to see a lot of people try to reenact something that's not real to them. And one thing I always come back to is the melodics of music. So there's um, this blend of music I've been listening to that's kind of more, of not the drill scene, but of the culture scene that I like to say. Because I feel like a lot of culture, uh, politically, if you want to say, gets dumbed down. So I just say culture scene. But I feel like a lot of that scene seems sung more in different verbiage because you can get the same message across but not as fast and as ruthless because the music and the tempo of the music, the cadence, gets young people angry. So like if you slow it down and like add some melodics, it kind of changes the vibe of the message, you know what I mean? So that's what I've been rocking with. That's what I've been rocking with. Some singers who are a little more cultured. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Now we know AMG is a big Gorillas fan. Oh yeah, I went to their concert. Check out that other podcast when I, 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 I actually still need to post the videos. I haven't posted them yet, but they're so good. Yeah, they're really 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 good. Yeah, they're that was mostly, I'm dying down, I'm kind of exploring more things. I mean, I'm a theater kid, so what do you expect? I can now officially, I feel, call myself a theater kid since I'm in drama club. Yeah. But that's the sense. I see you rocking that uh, nice little J. Dilla donut shirt, though. Oh my though. gosh. Yeah, we're going to um, Detroit next Sunday, by the way, to get some donuts. So. No. Yeah. <laughs> I am. I am not going to Detroit. That is. That. That's. That is rough out there in them streets. <laughs> oh, no. But they might be scared of us because we from Chicago. So. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I know karate. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's all. It's Dilemma. It's Dilemma. Yeah. One of my favorite artists is uh like you picked up when you game here with Doom. Doom. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We do love some Doom around this house mm -hmm. and. um Merce is always one of our top uh, rappers in this house. He's here every day. Mm -hmm. It's like you can't miss his voice in this house. At some, some point in time, every single day, we're either on Twitch with him or something, but he's always around. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, he's right over there, staring at us. What? Real quick, because you said the Doom, which made me think old school hip hop. Some of my people I think you might like, if you know Capital Steve. Capital Steve, he was with Joey, um, Really badass a long time ago, um, and there's some good lyricists, and they remind me of MF Doom, and they're a little more fast paced, but the way they break down and chop it up, because I feel like modern day music is very da 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 da, but back in old hip hop, it was more jazzy. So um, jazzy lyrics, lyricists, I like it. If you look it up, it's Capital Steve. Capital Steve is good. Okay, we got something there for you guys out there at Grip's Table. Pull out the Capital Steve's on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit of jazz, like a tribe called Quest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Old school stuff. Is that like that old school hip hop. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Exactly. Now, you know what? We gonna, This is what we're going to do. Personally, okay, wait, wait. better than real hip hop. We're going we gonna, to we gonna change this up, and we're going to start calling it classic hip-hop. Classic. Yeah. We're going to take the O out, and we're just going to call it classic hip-hop from now on. Exactly. That's it. That's it. Classic. It's like classical music. <laughs> right. It's classic hip-hop. When you want some classic hip-hop, you're pulling out, you know, your rock hymns, you know, your dooms, you know what I'm saying, your cookbooks. You know what I'm saying? That's how we're going to do it. A little bit of Raekwon, you know. Classic hip-hop. Classic. We're going to keep it real. Yeah. We're in a new era. <laughs> Oh, snap. So there was an album that did come out this month. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was